here with the long-awaited System Test 51. Uh, so why did it take so long to make and upload this video? Um, unfortunately, it's not because I'm, I added in some sort of new killer feature into the system, uh, but it's simply because I was just busy. Um, when school ended, I started working full-time, and then, you know, school started, Marching Man started, if you... If you've seen the videos I put of that on my account. Uh, so between all that, there just hasn't been a lot of time to make this. Um, but here we are today, System Test 51. I will start by introducing the uh, parts of the system, starting with the panel. Uh, so I showed these zone expander modules in the last system test, um, which increased uh, the number of zones from 2 to six, and I have them wired up these time, this time, because I actually did rewire the entire system with uh, commercial grade FPL. Um, and actually, while I was rewiring it, I made a wiring mistake. So, like, one alarm wouldn't go off ever, uh, and then it just took a while to figure out what I did wrong. Um, and that's another reason why this test was delayed so much. But I have everything wired correctly, and it's wired nicely. Uh, and yeah, it looks a bit sloppy right there, but oh well. So I have all that. Um, and no, I don't have the batteries hooked up just for the sake of this not being on for that long. Uh, all right, so there's the panel. We move over to the devices. First one we have is this Silent Night Pull Station. Uh, I forget the model number of it. Um, but it pulls like a BG-8, uh, so that'll be the first thing I set off. This is zone 1. Um, next thing I have is a BG-12S. Uh, fairly standard, fairly simple. This is actually on zone 3, because the indicator on the test switch, um, the auxiliary power, for some weird reason, wasn't working on any zone but zone 1 or 2. So I just went ahead and switched these two. So this is 3, this is zone 2. Um, and then going on up here... We have a system sensor I3 hooked up to zone 4. Uh, you know, basic I3, nothing too exciting. And then for the alarms, we have this Space Age electronic strobe plate with a wheel lock horn underneath. Uh, I'll make sure I get exact model numbers in the video somewhere. And then FCI remote strobe. So, I think I've been talking for long enough. We'll go ahead and get started by pulling this. Obviously, the strobes aren't flashing in sync. Um, that strobe isn't very bright, but you can still see it pretty well. Uh, go ahead and reset this. And then I guess we'll just move on to the BG-12S. There we go. see so far zones one and three have been activated and we'll reset that really quick um we'll go ahead and do the key station now just go on down the line here we go Actually, go ahead and reset it now but we can see we have zones one three and two that have been activated hit the reset button um, and then once it resets we'll set off the i3 so just give it a sec all right um let's see so i would have done a walk test in this video but unfortunately, some of these dip switches on this panel have been getting a little bit finicky. Um, like, for example, here's the dip switch for walk test. If 
I flip it, and nothing really happens. Um, so what I actually have to do is I have to hold it down if I wanted to go into walk test mode, um, which is pretty annoying and kind of unfortunate that these dip switches are breaking. You can see right there I press it and the buzzer goes off. Uh, but this is also true for the zone 1 dip switch right there. Um, but besides that, this panel is in pretty good shape from all the abuse I've given it over the years. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and make sure this is on because it does take maybe around 30 seconds for it to start functioning again after a system reset. Wait for that LED to flash. There we go. And I have an Allen wrench right here, actually, for the BG12S. Um, but it fits fine. Alright, and we can see that the light on the i3 is still on. Um, and all we have to do is just hit reset and it will go off. Just like that. Alright, so there it is, System Test 51. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, as always, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. And who knows, maybe I'll actually do one of them. So, uh, thank you for uh, watching, thank you for subscribing, even though I haven't been very active in the past year and a half. Um, so if you like this video, go ahead, like it, share it, do whatever. Thanks. <laughs>